I think when I realised I needed help was too late because everybody should realise that they need help yeah. from the start. I sure. really love when my virtual assistant is telling me, Tanya, okay, we have these mistakes, I apologise for it, yeah. and here are my solutions, one, two, three. Uh, I think my virtual assistant even booked flowers for me for my client's birthdays. Yeah. When you are interviewing a virtual assistant, what yeah. type of things are you looking for? One thing that I really appreciate is honesty. Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I am uh, here with my friend Sunita Gill, an entrepreneur, a real estate agent and uh, a successful woman who actually is working with virtual assistants and uh, she is here to share her journey about working and choosing virtual assistants for herself, what uh, she is uh, basically what tasks she is assigning them to do and uh, yeah just about her journey as well so stay with us for a lot of insights during this video before we start please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so let's dive in Hi Sunita, it is Hi, nice Tanya. to see you Likewise. and uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for your time. So yeah, maybe you can share a little bit more about yourself, about sure. your business as a real estate agent as well, sure. uh, agent as well. and yeah. like when did you realize that you need help in your business? Okay. When did you start to delegate? Sure, thanks for having me Tanya. I think when I realized I needed help was too late because everybody should realize that they need help yeah. from the start. Yeah. Right? Uh, but right. sometimes you need, maybe you need um, enough volume of work to realize that you need to delegate. So I didn't delegate for many years and to be honest, that was the biggest mistake of my life because I got a burnout. Same with me. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I could do it all. I thought that, you know, I can manage everything. Um, I was worried to delegate. I was worried that, you know, somebody else couldn't do what I was thinking, but I was very wrong. Uh, I decided then that it's time to speak to you, my friend, to speak to a lot of other people about how I could help myself as an entrepreneur. And I think the best decision I made was hiring a virtual assistant, um, some full-time, some part-time, um, about my journey uh, to help me in my work. Um, so a little bit about my work and how a virtual assistant can help us. So as a real estate broker, we go out there, we do lead generation and we get the leads that come through. Um, as we are very busy showing houses during the day, what the virtual assistants can do for us is do planning of our schedule because sometimes we do like 10 to 20 houses a day. Um, and all these houses have other brokers involved. So what my virtual assistant used to do is I give her like the links on the houses and she can contact the brokers and put it into a schedule and do a confirmation for me. Like I will be there at 10, 10, 30, 11 and all that. And that's so useful for me because just doing that liasing takes a lot of time. Yeah. So that's something which I find very useful that virtual assistants can help us with. The other thing about my business is that we need to be socially present. So social media is a big component, but it takes up a lot of time to do planning of the social media calendar, content, topics. So I'm successfully working with a virtual assistant in Indonesia, um, which you recommended to Thank me, you. thankfully, uh, <laughs> where he is helping us to do our social media calendar. Uh, he reports back to us weekly. We do it all on a platform like Canva that we all can access to, um, you know, and that has saved me so much of time. So, you know, something like that. Uh -huh. And I think the other thing that virtual assistants do for a lot of my colleagues as well is um, they do um, blog writing. So to put content out there, you know, uh, they help my colleagues come up with topics and then do blog writing to help them put it on their website, things like that. And I mean, it can be even as simple as data entry because um, we work on platforms like Property Guru, 99.co in Singapore and to put up a listing onto the platform takes almost an hour to two because you need 20 photos which are edited properly, you need the description, you need all that. 
So we, I, I have virtual assistants helping me to put that up and then they can save it in drafts and then I can check it later. Wow. So I think there are about five to six areas in my industry that virtual assistants can help us with. Um, and like I was just speaking to you, the, my next area which I will need help with is like podcasts, YouTubes and all that. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a virtual assistant in that space, I think you can put yourself out there mm -hmm. and start that journey. Many, many Singaporean agents will definitely work with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there are so many things that are virtual And if I can interrupt, I have friends in KL, in Indonesia, in even the US that need this help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly, you know. exactly. Yeah. Because all this work takes so much of your time. Absolutely. So you are basically like getting your time back and also you can increase your sales as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. It has helped me to increase my time so much by my virtual assistant doing all this for me. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think I even need a virtual assistant to plan my day. <laughs> yeah, like a personal, personal errand, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. I know some virtual like, assistants you know, even do, like, even does like uh, some grocery shopping, yeah. you know, all this stuff. I think my virtual assistant even booked flowers for me for my client's birthdays, yeah. uh, dental appointment for my mom because I'm busy, um, you know, help my children even to see if they finish their homework sometimes. Yeah. So sometimes it can help in so many ways, right? Because, you know, we are moms, we are entrepreneurs, we, we are thing, people that do things for everyone. Mm -hmm. So virtual assistants are very useful. Great. Yeah. So, so when you are interviewing a virtual assistant, what yeah. type of things are you looking for in terms of the soft skills? Maybe yeah. like what are the soft skills that they need to possess? I think the soft skills will be to have initiative. That's really important because um, the world is moving very quickly. And if you only tell me you do things one way, then I might not be too open to working with you. I think um, as a virtual assistant, if you like, for example, designing, uh, you should give me a few options. I can work with Canva, I can work on Adobe, I can work on Photoshop. Like, you know, if you tell me a few options, I can tell you the one I'm comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Because you see, I don't have time to learn what you are comfortable with. So it's better if you equip yourself with some variety of options. options. Uh -huh. At least the popular options, mm -hmm. you know, that the, the whole world is kind of using. Mm -hmm. So in that way, I can... Um, easily then work with mm -hmm. you or, or if you're willing to learn it really quickly that will also help mm -hmm. I think the soft skills will be that uh, some time planning skills uh, some suggestions on apps that we can use to increase time productivity mm -hmm. and um, how we can all kind of see our tasks together you know these are some things that are very useful that I look out for yeah uh, you know and someone who is not just doing the job, but also my eyes in the back end. If something goes wrong after you put out something, say on social media, or if there's a, a wrong spelling or something, uh, I find that if you have the lookout to help me look if the everything is making me look in the best way, that's yeah. really, I would like that somebody I really love that because it shows that the person really cares yes, about your business yes. and even if some, sometimes a person's job is completely different and Correct. suddenly they, they see, oh, there is a mistake on your yes. Instagram post yes. and I, I really love that. Yeah. yeah it also happened with yeah. me a few times. And I think if I can share one more thing, um, I think human resource or rather HR, whether it's a virtual or a real person, one thing that I really appreciate is honesty. Mm -hmm. I think we all are going through different things in our lives. Sometimes you cannot continue to work for that person because a family member is sick or you have to do something else. Um, don't disappear on your employer. Mm -hmm. You know, be honest, be truthful, say mm -hmm. that, you know, I need maybe a week off and then come back to it because uh, that's something reputation is very important yeah and you know if somebody has heard your name in the market as being doing something like that then you know you have to build your reputation all over again mm -hmm. so try to be honest try to be um, like I said speak to your employer mm -hmm. be be very open about you know what you can commit and can't commit yeah. don't over commit don't under commit yeah, yeah 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 i completely understand like don't be afraid to speak to your exactly. employer right? to, your, exactly. to your client because uh, like don't don't consider that this is a person like somewhere like a how, how would i say that no like minor. he's the master yeah. and that you are working for him yeah, i think yeah, it's yeah. always a partnership yes it's like you know? equal yeah it's equal, equal. Yeah. it's always a partnership yes he's paying you but 
without you, his job also cannot be done. So I think you have to learn that um, the partnership is to respect each other. That's mm -hmm. the most important. And your employer will see that if you show that to him also. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And probably the last question, like what do sure. you think about making mistakes? Maybe as a virtual assistant, they are new uh, and maybe they are always afraid that what if I, what if I don't meet the expectations? How sure. do I know the expectations from the client? And how do I really behave if I, how do I really, uh, what do I really do if I make a mistake? It always helps when you ask sometimes with an apology saying that I'm sorry but I don't understand and it's okay yeah. that you know you say that and I also feel like even if I'm very busy sometimes I'm like oh why doesn't this person understand but I sit back and I tell myself that you know the person is genuinely apologetic and trying to learn so that your employer will feel that you know they will help you also so it's better to make a mistake and to ask yeah. Because anyway, a lot of virtual assistant work goes into drafts first before it goes into the real yeah. world. So the draft is better to check it and to make a mistake and to learn from yeah. that and then to move on. Yeah. You will find that it makes your life easier as well. Then you save it under standard operating procedure and then you just follow yeah you just and, you don't, know, don't make this again yeah exactly. and like if you understand why the mistakes ha mistake happened maybe you also can give the solutions like what, what are the solutions to to fix this mistake yes because sometimes virtual assistants they just say oh i'm so sorry and they like they are they are waiting for for the client to give the solution like, yeah, what are we going to yeah, do next? yeah 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 but i sure. really love when my virtual assistant is telling me tanya okay we have these mistakes i apologize for it yeah. and here are my solutions one two three absolutely so let's do go i think that's an yeah. amazing value add yeah. that the virtual assistant can add to the employer. It shows that you are showing initiative, it shows intent, it shows goodwill yeah. that you know that I'm just not stopping there and not giving you a solution. Even if the solutions are wrong. So now what? Like yeah. you know, tell me what are we going to do to solve the problem? Nothing is personal. Oh remember that nobody is going to take it personally it's yeah. purely work at the end of the day you're still friends you still shake hands with each other and go home to your family yeah that, yeah, you yeah. Know? and uh, yeah. yeah and i always say like all of my team members they always make mistakes like not always but all of them made mistakes yeah. sometime you yeah, know yeah and it's like i don't have anyone even i make mistakes so yeah. it's completely fine yeah uh yeah thank you sunita so guys thank please you so don't much. be afraid of mistakes yes don't be afraid Brief you've got value. a great teacher i'm sure she'll be able to guide you along thank yeah you. you know and maybe i i think you have a community also right yeah. they should leverage on each other's strengths to help solve some of their mistakes that yes, will be very useful for sure yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you so much thank and uh, you, yeah dear. guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was uh helpful for you please uh really consider real estate agents because they <laughs> need your help yes yeah and uh hope you enjoyed this video please like it and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you sunita thank you thank everyone you, and see you in the next episode bye bye thank you bye bye Bye. Bye.